Hey, Gail, want to hear the results of our Rate the Chick survey? Your what survey? Our Rate the Chick survey. We asked a bunch of the guys to rate the girls on a scale of 1 to 10. A 10 means the girl is super terrific. And a 0 means she's not. So anyway, Gail, you're a 5. A 5? On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm a 5? That's the number. See you around. Hey, Gail, you look pretty down. Is something wrong? Oh, it's nothing, really. But I just talked to Jeff and Bruce, and... Are they still doing that stupid survey? Yeah, and according to them, I'm a five. A <laughs> five? Hey, if it makes you feel any better, they told me yesterday that I was a four. A four? Yeah, it's so ridiculous. I told them they better start checking their statistics. I know I'm at least a 9.5. Gee, I wish I had your self-confidence, Lynn. You just don't let people put you down. It must be nice to be so sure of yourself. Self-confidence. Some people have a lot of it, some very little. You cannot control some of the factors that shaped your self-confidence, such as what kind of self-confidence your parents had, what was happening in your family while you were growing up, how your parents interpreted your behavior to you. But now you're an adult, ready to take charge of your own life. Whatever happened before, you are the person who is in control now. Even if you feel down about yourself, you can learn to feel more self-confident. There are steps you can take that will increase your level of self-confidence. Learn them, try them, they work. The first step to building self-confidence is to learn your strong points. That may sound simple, but appreciating one's own strengths is something many people don't know how to do.